I am afraid that Colin could offend again. Colin had molested before. He molested two younger girls. The first one, he was nine, and the second one, he was 12. The first time Colin molested my daughter, I didn't call the police. I did take him to a counselor. The counselor wanted him to see a psychiatrist to put him on medicine. So I pulled him out of there and I didn't take him back and I didn't take him to see anybody else. When Colin molested Addison the second time, I couldn't believe that he did it again. I yelled at him, but at that point, he was taken to a counselor again, which was a mandated reporter, and they called social services, and he was removed from the home. He was gone for three years, and he went to four different group homes, but he didn't finish a program for sexual offenders. He turned 18 and he was emancipated and now he lives with his dad. Colin stays at my house maybe once or twice a month. At one point, Colin watched pornography and it was sons with their mothers. My greatest fear for Colin is that I would end up having to go see him in prison and he would forever be called a sexual offender. Uh, Kimberly, I'm I'm glad you're here, and you've been listening to my conversation yes, I uh, have. with your daughter. I feel sick about not what, doing enough. What would you do differently if you had this to do over again? If I had it to do over again, the first time I would have called the police, and I would have had Colin put out of the house or whatever had to be done. I would have done that. I'm so sorry. I love you so much, and I would put you first. Me too. It happened a second time, and I, I want to look at how you dealt with it at the time. Now, this is according to Colin. People came to your door, and you denied that Colin had touched their five-year-old when the police called, and he had confessed it to you. You knew he did, but you denied it. That's incorrect. Well, that's what he says. Okay. Colin, uh, that's what he says. But what happened was this little girl's mother came and told me that Colin had pulled her, um, had pulled her pants down. So she called the police. The police came, and I invited them in. And they came in, and Colin and I sat on the couch together, and he questioned Colin. Mm -hmm. Colin was approximately nine years old at that time. Mm -hmm. It, and it was denied, correct? No. I told him that he did it. But the man, uh, the officer looked at me and he said, does your son have problems? Because he has ADHD um, and some other diagnoses. But um, I just said yes. And then his father got home. Uh, the police were still there. Um, and he made the police leave my husband at the time. He says you grounded him for one week from TV and a year from his tablet. And he attended a counseling session two months uh, after he touched a six-year-old. That he did go to counseling. That he was grounded for one to two months from electronics and attended one counseling session after he touched his sister for the first time. Yeah, um, Colin has a different... Uh memory than I do about this. What's not up there is getting him help. Right. In a sustained sort of way. You're and in right. fact, you said you took him to one counselor and you pulled him out because they wanted to put him on medication. This is true. After two sessions, yes, that's true. What, what, what do you have expertise in the no. treatment of these things? No, why, why, I don't. Why would you second guess? I, I've been diagnosed with bipolar and they said that he was bipolar and I just I don't know. At that time, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't in my right mind. 